What is happening everybody? Welcome to a recap of the Irish League Game Week 2 fixtures. A couple of big games, big comebacks, three red cards, few penalties as well. Let's get into it. It would be much appreciated if you could like and subscribe to this channel so I can grow it out to the max capacity of Irish League followers. Let's get into the recap. First game of the weekend, Crusaders versus Glen Torn. What a game it was on BBC Friday night. I predicted 2 0, it was 3 1 in the end. Clark, Ross Clark scored the first goal for Cruz, which is a great finish. Glens are caught sleeping. And then equalised one each, Rory Downey. Great. Was, <laughs> wasn't the greatest goal, but a goal is a goal in the Irish League. Second goal was a McManaman penalty. It was definitely a penalty, and Glens could have had another penalty as well in the first half, but Raymond Crangle didn't give it. It was a good penalty. It was definitely was a penalty handball in there. Third goal, Wilson, great header. And Crusaders were very underwhelming. Just hoofing the ball up to Paul Heatley again. I think they got very lucky with Robin. Robinson should have been sent off for that tackle on Conor McManaman. No intention for the ball at all. Just in there to injure the player. And oh, a great performance by Glenn Torn. Glenn Torn dominated Crusaders. All the ball, defence was class for Glens, even with bringing on Paddy, Paddy McLean in the second half. I, mean, I think she was starter because I think he's Glen Torn's best defender. But I think the best player in that match probably was Conor McManaman, showing why he is the best player in the Irish League, in my opinion anyway. He should be playing, he should be playing in England. He's, I think he is the best, definitely is the best player in the Irish League and showed why against big teams like Crusaders, like Plumville. All I'm saying is it's looking, for, it's looking good for the Glens. Second game of the weekend, my team right there, Plumville versus Carrie Grangers. Obviously, I was at the game, vlogged it. What a game it was. Kick off, hoof up the running hill. What a finish, overhead kick. Into the net, everybody went nuts. It, it was actually recorded later on that it was 7.92 seconds into the game which Ronan Hill scored. Then a bit of a cagey game. As you see in the video, I think Rory, Rory Hill and Ryan Kern should, both should have scored them easy chances. Then, I said, Car I wish Carrie could get relegated. And then they went up and scored two. First goal, mm, it's just, in my opinion, it was a lucky goal. Second goal, I think it was a keeper's fault. John Lockby by the keeper of those good free kick. Took a deflection as well. But then the Reds bounced back. Penalty, which I thought was pretty harsh. I don't think it really was a penalty. Good finish by Ryan Kern. And then Joe Bonley coming on. First touch. What a finish. What a player. Best. He's that, one of my favourite strikers in the Irish League. What a game. The red card was absolutely disgusting. But that was the disgusting child from Marne. In my opinion, man, I'm matching this game was Marne. Or Malin, whatever you call him, definitely he took on that right back like there was nothing. He went past him so many times, put great balls into the box. What a player. Surprised he didn't get injured. Loads of people were just hacking him, bringing him, trying his, their hardest to bring him down. But uh, overall, it was a great performance by the Reds. Good performance by Carrick as well, but not enough to beat the Mighty Reds. Team Carrick, no. Next game, Balamina against Dungannon at Dungannon. Balamina win 2 0. Easy win. Nice three points for Balamina. <sighs> Showing why they are. Maybe challenging for a top six, I don't know. But with a manager like David Jeffrey, they should be challenging for a top six. It was a good performance. It was a pretty even game if you actually look at the stats 50 50 percent possession. <sighs> a couple of good goals in there. Oof. I think Dungannon should be doing much better since they did get a new 3G pitch, but I don't think it suits their type of play. Good game, but I think overall Balamina deserve the three points. Actually, might be the 2 1 Balamina, but Dungannon didn't look like they wanted to score a goal. Uh, overall, 2 0 Balamina. I think it's a decent shift for me again, but unlucky Dungannon. Adam versus Lauren. I said 1 0 Lauren. It was actually 2 1 Lauren. With a last minute penalty, two red cards for Glen Avon as well in Lurgan. I don't know what they were thinking. 
I, I didn't get a chance to watch the game, but it just looked like it was a scrappy game with two red cards. A very aggressive game. But Lawrence, penalty in the last minute. Good, very good penalty by Ben Doherty. But if Lawrence are struggling to beat teams like Glen Oppen, like Clemble are struggling to beat teams like Carrick, it's going to be a tough season for both of them. Overall, look like a decent game, a scrappy game, but that's what the Irish League is. Overall, good game, good result for Lauren. Next game, Coleraine versus Portadown Down at Shamrock Park. What a game! 2 0 Coleraine, simply just outclassed Portadown. Down. Shaffin on fire, watch the Peaky Bond Sellers vlog, and he looked very good. It looked like McDermott played very well, obviously, he used to play for Clumbo. I think that's a great sign for Corian. Porter Down just outclass. I think that's going to be the the seat, the story of this season for Porter Down. I don't think they have enough. But Corian bagging another three points, an order deserved three points. <laughs> I'm starting to get a bit scared of Corian challenging for the lead, but it is only a second game in. Don't get too excited. Next game, Linfield versus Newry. Linfield, I said Linfield went 2 1, 1 3 1. Struggled against a decent Newry team, obviously it was at Newry as well, but I think Linfield are tired at the moment after playing in Europe. But if Linfield do get into Europe, I think it shows it. They might not have the strongest squad to try and win the league as well. But they still got the three points, obviously for 10, for 10 whatever you call them. Bagging in two. Very good result for Linfield. Because Nuri is a tough place to go. Nuri, it looked like they played well. Got a goal, which is good enough against Linfield. Not many teams do get goals. It's going to be a tough season for both teams. But I think good result for Linfield and a good result for Nuri as well. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and see you later.